What is up guys, Kiroko Stylus here, and in this video I'm basically going to be going one of my favorite scraping tools. So this tool is one out of the two that I use in my bundle, and the reason as to why it's amongst my favorite is because it's just relatively intuitive uh, from a UI aspect. So you don't really need to understand a lot of uh, HTML elements, any CSS, right? It's got a pretty intuitive like auto-suggestion method, which I'll showcase right now, that basically scrapes whatever you want. So uh, in this case, we're going to be scraping a website called CoinGecko, which just has publicly available information. Uh, but you're able to also scrape behind logins, which is just one of the, the biggest things. So you log in, you save the cookie, and that's something that we showcase on the World Hacking Bootcamp as opposed to on YouTube, because scraping behind the login, in most cases, like, like breaks the terms and conditions of websites. And... Uh, I've had a couple of websites go after me, uh, just trying to take my videos down because down, we scraped Facebook or Instagram or anything of that sort or automated WhatsApp, for instance. And um, that's the type of stuff we post in the bootcamp. But uh, regardless of that, let's get into it. So Octoparse is free. That's one of the key things. Parse Hub is also free up to a certain point. And Octoparse is free up to a certain point. But the point is, you're able to do so much for free. Like, you don't actually need to, to pay for it. The only thing is... Um, is that it consumes quite a bit of uh, RAM and CPU. Like when I used to run it on my, uh, not so much right now, but when I used to run it on my old laptop, sometimes it would lag depending upon the scrape that I wanted. Uh, but on this one, it's good. And this is a 16 gig machine. Just to showcase how it works, right? So you click on, uh, you have to click on new advanced mode. You need to see what you want to scrape. So in this case, we are scraping CoinGecko. We just want to get some uh, like ICO or cryptocurrency websites. Uh, we head over to, again, back to Octoparse. Windows 11 sucks, guys. Uh, don't upgrade. Uh, you click on save. Then it opens a website in the Octoparse browser. So how they work, and you'll notice a lot of similarities between Octoparse and Parse Hub, is they have a built-in browser that just opens up the page. And then you'll be able to select whatever you want. Um, so in this case, oops. Uh, whenever you click on OK or whenever you want to click on anything, now we have to click on Undo. Uh, you have to click on Browse, OK, and then extend this so always click on browse whenever you're actually clicking on things on the web page for a better view better focus etc uh then um let's scroll down key thing whenever you're scraping anything is to understand is it an infinite scroll website or is it a paginated website these are the two key formats whenever you're scraping if it's a paginated website it means that every time you collect some data you're gonna have to click on next page and loop it if it's an infinite scroll website that means that uh octopars or parse hub will first and foremost have to scroll down to the bottom find all the records and then scrape them one by one so these are the two key differentiations when it comes to scraping itself so in this case uh it's pretty simple you need to see what you want to scrape so price action really means very little to me because I'm a marketer. What I need is the uh, project website, basically. So in this case, we need to identify where it is, right? All this info. And then mine, right? And then scrape it, basically. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm just going to click on this page of every single project and then essentially just scrape these segments. So to do that, uh, we're going to go back to the web page. So the previous one, CoinGecko, perfect. Then uh, we're going to select the element, select all, and then click, loop click each URL, click item, and then extract info in this case. So extract website. website and then this extract the url perfect set and then uh return to coin gecko so click image uh-huh you don't actually need to do that because it already loops like that uh, and then go back to web page and then we need to paginate so this is the key thing so next uh loop click single url pagination click to paginate so it already knows that it's pagination and that's it uh i think that's it it's gonna basically give you the format out in csv or anything of that sort run now the key thing is uh before we even run this just to see if it works out or not uh you there's the this feature right here 
which is the show smart tips. If you click on auto detect web page data, I use this in some case because I just can't be bothered to click and select everything. If you click on auto detect web page data, it's just gonna auto select everything for you intuitively and it's gonna give you three or four variations of what you can select. Um, and essentially you can just scrape anything, even if it's behind the login, etc. Now, as I mentioned, behind logins we do in the bootcamp, link is in the description, uh, but the, the, the free ones are pretty simple. So close this, click on run. Uh, 10 tasks. This is one of the reasons why you should upgrade. I just use it so much that uh, I'm always filled on the tasks. Let's click on um, home. Recent tasks. I always get stuck on this part. Like, I don't know where my tasks are. Um, where is it? <laughs> Enter web page or I always lose my tasks. Browse. I think it's here. Nope. Uh, data dashboard. Okay, it's always on dashboard. So let's just delete some stuff. Find crypto. We'll delete these two tasks. Okay, so that's the key thing with regards to free the limitation of the 10 tasks and how much data you can scrape. If you want to scrape a lot, I suggest you upgrade. But if you just want to test out, uh, you can test out on free. Uh, this is a glitch sometimes when you delete tasks. Now it should work. Now, as I mentioned, when you run the task on your device, that's um, it's. Uh, What's the word? Resource intensive. So it's going to use CPU, RAM, etc. If you don't have a hell of a machine, run the task in the cloud, which requires an upgrade as well. And to schedule a task in cloud means that it's going to run repeatedly. So you can have it connected to an API that basically sends the scraped information to another database and you need to scrape repeatedly for any updates, etc. So in this case, uh, run task on our uh, computers. And then really, really simple. It's just gonna start running, and then we'll see the um, the validity of the data we scraped if it's correct, or, for fuck's sake, if it's correct or not. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's just opening up the different websites, right? Fully automating it, opening up the different websites, uh, scraping the website URL, right? And then, of course, uh, if you watch my other videos, right, uh, you'll know that we. Why is it? Binance coin, Cardano, XRP, yeah, so exactly that. Opening the website, scraping the URLs. Anyways, uh, if you know this one might have not have had a website, some don't have a website, is it stuck? If you know uh, what we do in the other videos, uh, you'll notice that a lot of it is B2B marketing, B2B growth hacking. So what we do once the URLs are scraped is we can plug them into hunter.io for enrichment and then get the emails of the contact individuals, of the CEOs or CMOs of the websites themselves and then outreach to them. Uh, so that's one of the ways and that's one of the use cases of, of scraping or anything of that sort. Really simple, uh, definitely recommend you guys get Octopus. I'm not affiliated in any way, the link is right here. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just definitely like one of the tools that you need to have if you want to scrape anything. This and then Parse Hub. Parse Hub will include one of my demonstrations above. Um, and yeah, if we stop the run, you should see a portion of the Excel sheet because I think I already have this data. Uh, export data, remove duplicates. I think the duplicates are the website most probably. So close, let's export again, uh, all data. Because website, 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 it should stay the same. Uh, export a CSV, desktop, save. And then let's open it up. And that's it. Uh, some don't have a website, right? Some have contract as opposed to website. Um, but if you did this on all the records, you would have some pretty decent data. It, it, it works in the background as well. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. If you want to book a consultation call, description. And uh, yeah, catch you guys on the next one.